Welcome to Auto World of Conway, and today we'll be previewing another beautiful big body Ford. This one, a 1964 Galaxy 500 XL. Now, this isn't your mama's Galaxy 500, this one's got a lot more to offer. So, well, we're going to take a couple moments. Here today so you can understand exactly what makes this car oh so special and if you can imagine this in your driveway so finished in yellow over white and fully upgraded street rod some might call it so that 390 badge that you saw just a minute ago is long gone. This is a Z code 390 car. So the 390 is long gone and we'll get to under the hood but this dual exhaust hanging out the back will give you a foretaste of the power that hides within. So you first thing you'll notice are these 17s and 18s American racing wheels in the back it's coupled to a Ford 9 inch in the front you have upgraded Willwood disc brakes let's get here I'm just too excited normally I do the engine a little bit later but today we'll do it early so you'll find a fuel injected 428 aluminum metal brock heads headers power steering power disc brakes air conditioning three row aluminum radiator hei msd and everything works can't see is the Ride Tech tubular front suspension. Maybe you get a glimpse of it right there. Aluminum water pump. So yeah, that's uh, that gets my blood going just a little bit. So all the chrome and bright work is pretty nice on this car. The paint, about 18 years old. It does have some spots, and we'll touch those here in just a moment. But it's been driven and enjoyed, but well maintained. Also, the transmission has been rebuilt. We have paperwork and documentation as to such. So everybody has a story, but this car is documented, the entire story. So local to the Myrtle Beach, uh, Galvin's Ferry, Merle's Inlet area for quite a few years. I missed it when this car was sold a couple years ago and now here she is. One little spot right here to notice. Thought about having that uh, painted. I've had so many inquiries on this car thus far. So it's neat. Not many of these are equipped with power windows and they all work. Odometer shows 16,702. Is that 116, 216? Uh, I don't really know. But it is not just 16,000. So the air conditioning functions, that has recently been serviced. The clock does not work, but all of the other features do. One small tear on the dash due to the heat. 100 degrees here today, so I'm thankful for a little bit of shade in the clouds. Bucket seats, as do all the XLs. And there's the trim tag with the Z code in the fifth digit, which says this car was a 394 barrel car. My memory if I'm wrong, shame on me. 
little spot there from where the door rubber hits. The interior is in exceptionally nice condition. Either it presents as original or potentially replaced 20 to 30 years ago because it does show somewhere it's not new but it is in great shape. So I've got the soft boot cover on the car right now. A little mark. Again, I try to point these out as I see them. And then another one here on the deck lid. Let's get in the trunk. So some extra chrome bits, original spare, jack, and tire iron. But my favorite thing when purchasing or acquiring any collector car is this right here. So a lot of these receipts is someone had created a spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel. This is from 2002. You add these up, this is over $5,000 worth of repairs and maintenance. There's another one. Let's see. One of these shows $7,000 for the engine. There we go, $7,900. And you see the $2,000 for the uh, heads only. So there's your rebuild. This was uh, March of 2016. And the odometer is 8,700. So eight, let's say 8,000 miles uh, on the engine. Also in these receipts are uh, for the transmission rebuild. So I'm going to leave all those right there. And those, again, will accompany the car. So all those receipts start from 2003. So before that, I don't really have paperwork, but 20 years worth. So let's listen to this lady sing here. So sniper fuel injection. So what you have to do is insert the key, turn to the on position to, to prime the fuel pump. And we'll wait until we hear the fuel pump turn off. And then so there you have it. No gas pedal, no feathering. There's your oil pressure gauge. Over 40 pounds. Your Fitech tuning screen. I don't know if this camera will get it. It's real time there. Air conditioning. Hear the compressor bog down the engine. I'm going to leave that on just so that way you can see it outside. do 
next? Let's shut the hood and take this bad boy for a ride. Galaxy 500 XL, fully optioned, and boy, what a dream to drive. Maybe you can picture this in your driveway. Until next time.